and welcome to Ask Bonnie. This is something we do every week on Web Waste where we pick a topic, answer your questions on that topic, and you're so much smarter for it. And hey, you deserve to know the truth. All right, this week's topic is on ukuleles, and after each question, or at least after a couple of questions, you're going to have a nice little interlude with our own editor, Shannon, who actually is a ukulele virtuoso. So uh, if you like ukulele music and you want to just see her rock out, get ready for that. And also, I'm the one holding the mic. So if you need me for, you know, your world tour or something, I am available for uh, mic stand help. All right, the first question is from Frank in Fremont, California, and he asks, when was ukulele invented? Well, apparently it goes way, way back, way back more than we ever thought that a ukulele could go back. But uh, in 139 BC, the Lusitani, Lusitani, actually, Lusitani tribe, I don't want to make it sound like a mafia gang, but the Lusitani tribe in Portugal um, made an instrument that looked a lot like the ukulele. So that's what people think it originated at. But then eventually, way, way, way after that, uh, a Portugal ship sailed to Hawaii and brought the ukulele, and that's where it sort of had its own little rebirth and uh, became one of the major instruments that you probably hear in most Hawaiian music. So it goes way back. We're not too sure if this is really accurate because I wasn't there, but let's just say it is. And the second question is from John Lutzen Askew from Canada, and I hesitate because it's a hyphenated name and I don't want people to think it's all just one big name. But John really wants to know other celebrities besides Tiny Tim and uh, Martin Mull who have played the ukulele. Um, that was kind of an easy question, I have to say, because if you've watched any kind of Elvis movie, you know that he's played the ukulele a couple of times. Some even electric ukuleles. Uh, so Elvis would probably be the number one celebrity, I think, that's really played the ukulele a lot. But I did a little more research and found out there was a TV show in the 1950s called Arthur Godfrey and his ukulele. But I didn't find any more information other than the title. So I don't know if it was like some sort of variety show where he had a bunch of people come on playing ukuleles or if it was just him playing the ukulele and doing bits about the news, like Leno or something. I have no idea. So if you have any more information on that, feel free to email me and maybe we'll do a little tribute to Arthur Godfrey. Okay, last question is from Sarah in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and she asks, who is the guru of ukuleles? Uh, I've been told from our own Shannon, who's been playing ukulele in between these questions, that uh, Jumpin' Jim uh, Beloff, that's B-E-L-O-F-F, um, yes, I can read with these glasses. He's from Studio City, California, and apparently he just writes and writes and writes a bunch of ukulele songbooks that you can find for sale on his website and, of course, in fine music stores near you. And uh, he also has lots of information about the history of ukuleles. Probably he could tell you when they were really invented. And uh, he's also got some CDs and T-shirts and pretty much everything you could ever need for your ukulele needs. So if you're really serious about starting out on a world tour using your ukulele, check out Jumpin' Jim, because he, he probably could help a lot. Maybe he could be your opening band or something. All right, that's it for Ask Bonnie this week. Feel free to email me any questions if you have some suggestions, perhaps, for future Ask Bonnies, and I will get right back to you, and maybe even we'll have our own little ukulele convention online.